Hey, what's up YouTube? Another episode here. I'm gonna showcase the new Navigate on Autopilot that doesn't require any human input to enable lane changes. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and really help support the channel. Thank you in advance. Okay, let's get back to the video. Um, and so this entire video here that you're gonna see has no human input. So the only thing that I did was plug in my endpoint into the navigation and so as you saw there we went from on the same highway where there's a couple stoplights and now there's no more stoplights on this section of highway so it switched over into the navigate on autopilot let's take another look at that so right here you can see i just passed underneath the last stoplight and if you see the two blue lines on the sides of the lane went to one blue line straight ahead that means we're on navigate on autopilot and I also have automatic lane changes enabled. So that was a new addition to this most recent update, 2019.8.5. So here's our first lane change coming up. You can see by this blue rectangle on the top of the nav screen, and then the right turn signal comes on and it changes lanes over into the next lane. So I wanna be clear, this is not like the last update where the driver would turn on the turn signal and then the car would get over. With this update, the car decides what lane it wants to be in and there is no human interaction. The car decides, car decides. okay, I wanna change lanes and the car changes lanes. Now Tesla did put a safety precaution in there um, and it's gonna ask to ensure that your hands are on the wheel. So you're gonna have to give the wheel like a shimmy shake uh, before it will actually take the lane change and that's probably just to uh, validate the software until a future update doesn't require that uh, hand on the steering wheel confirmation during each automatic lane change. Okay, so let's fast forward a bit. As you can see, we're still in Navigate on Autopilot, heading down the highway, no need for any lane changes. Doesn't seem like the middle lane is very popular today. All right, I think a lane change is coming up right about here. So let's slow down the video and you can see the car is actually gonna wait for this car to pass and it doesn't take the lane change yet because it sees another van coming up as you can see in the center screen. And so it's gonna wait for this van to pass completely before it takes the lane change. So in Mad Max mode, I really expected the uh, Tesla to cut behind that first car in front of the van, but I guess um, it's not that Mad Max yet. Uh, so if you guys are unfamiliar with what I'm talking about when I talk, when I say Mad Max mode, there's different settings within the Navigate on Autopilot. And so check out this video, I'll put a link in the corner up here, and that's gonna show you the actual settings. That's a longer video where I dive into the settings and show you the mild average. Those are, have to do with the automatic lane changes. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit the like button. You're obviously enjoying the video or you're patiently waiting for me to stop talking. Okay, so we're almost to our exit here. It's coming right up. The another great thing about Navigate on Autopilot is if you're heading down the highway, you're never gonna miss your exit because the Autopilot's actually gonna take the exit for you. So right here is our exit and as you can see, the turn signal is activated and it gets right over into the exit lane and then Coming up here at the fork, it knows not to go straight, but we need to go right based on the navigation in the car. You can see here, navigate on autopilot is still in control until we get into this exit ramp. And then once we get into the exit ramp, right about here, autopilot goes back into control. Both navigate on autopilot and autopilot do a great job, even though this road is a little bit old and the lane markings, like the lines on either side, aren't very clear, especially at night. So I wanna watch this portion of the video, the exit off the interstate again. And if you look next to the speedometer in the center touchscreen, on the left-hand side, you can see the maximum speed. So also included with this update, which not a lot of people know, is that now autopilot and navigate on autopilot will automatically adjust the max speed like it does here, again, based on the road condition. So obviously that exit ramp was really curvy, so it's going to adjust the speed down so that it can perform best based on the current road. 
All right, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Another video coming out really soon where the mobile tech came over to the house and did a couple things for me. He also gave me a tour of the modified Model S he uses for mobile service. So that'll be in another video coming really soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.